Hello everyone, welcome to the Stock Trading Tutor channel. If you'd like to create a free DMAT account with Alice Blue, click the link in the description and fill out your details. You'll also get intraday recommendation calls and you can learn robo trading software for free. Now, let's look at the top gainers and losers for the week. In order to do that, we'll go here to Money Control's website and here we have already selected the article. So as you can see, you need to do some research when you're looking at market updates. So here we have Money Control, one of our resources for getting the latest news on stock market information. So here are the top gainers and losers for the week. The highlights have been Bank of Baroda, Indus End Bank and DLF. So let's look at some of them more. So as we can see in this article, the market staged a particular performance and it was hitting record highs after Narendra Modi was re-elected as Prime Minister on May 23rd. So the BJP-led NDA government got a thumping majority by winning 353 seats in the Lok Sabha elections 2019, which was a great show by the ruling party. So as a result, the Nifty 50 crossed the 12,000 milestone and the BSE Sensex crossed the 40,000 level for the first time in history, gaining 4% each to end record closing highs during the week ended May 24th. So as we can, let's look at the top 10 stocks which moved the most this week. The top gainers were Bank of Baroda, which was up by 25%. And mostly it was because of its fourth quarter results. As we can see, it had a net loss of 991 crore rupees. And as we can see, it has also shown some net interest income growth by 26.6% year on year to 5,067 crore rupees in the January March quarter and this this sector's banks rallied as the market exper experts believe that the monetary policy committee may cut the repo rate in the forthcoming policy meeting scheduled on June 3rd to June 6th which is a key reason for the rally in PSU banks this also leads to the next bank which is Indescent Bank which was up by 20 percent so this was because after the brokerages remained strong despite the weak earnings so even though the company, uh, this bank didn't perform as well in the Q4 results, the brokerages kept their ratings strong. So this led to add, adding to the... Yeah. Next is the DLF, which went 16.5%. As we can see, the share price went up 16% for the week. And the company reported a 76% jump in its consolidated net profit. So this added into the stock price trading and led to a significant rally. So a good performance in the Q4 results definitely leads to high, higher prices. Next is State Bank of India, which was up by 11.31%. Again, this comes into the banks rallying mainly because of the expectation of the Mo uh, Monetary Policy Committee cu uh, cutting up the repo rates. So the experts are believing there will be a rate cut so this has also added on to state banks um, rally price rally next is ashok leyland which was up by 11 percent so this was surprising because the company reported a 12.1 percent year-on-year d growth on the fourth quarter results however the stock rallied around six percent after the margin touched 11 percent from 10 percent earlier so market experts have faith in this company so they have this has not um, been such a devastating blow to the company as it has risen 11 percent next is hpcl which was up by 10 percent so this is an oil marketing company which gained 10 percent after reporting their q4 sales and the net profit which was up by 69 percent so their good performance in the fourth quarter results has shown uh, this rally in the 10 percent next is pnb housing finance as we can see the finance sector has been doing quite well this week this has shown 16.99 percent so this is close to 17 percent and they had a 51 percent jump in their q4 results consolidated net profit which has added to the uh, ex exuberant hopes now let's look at the top losers so on the top loser here is Jubilant Life Finances, which was down by 13.5%. So 
It was mainly down 13% for the week after it reported a net loss of 100.65 crores. So mainly due to the one-time loan settlement with the International Finance Corporation. So this has led to a significant uh, plunge in the share price. Next is Torrent Pharma, which was down by 7.25%. And this was mainly due to their consolidated net loss of 152 crore. So this was due to account of exceptional items in their financial reports. Next is Tech Mahindra, which was down by 6.25%. And this was down mainly on account of strengthening the, the rupees uh, plunging. So as we can see, the company also reported an 8.8% fall, which did not help the share price. So as we can see, these are the top gainers and losers. If you would like to get more information when you're researching about your companies, you can go to Money Control or any other news websites and get your latest updates on the stock market news. If you'd like to create a DMAT account with Alice Blue for trading and having a smooth trade with exceptionally good exposures so that you can trade on enough margins, you can use Alice Blue. As you can see, this has been consistently awarded. So you can create an Alice Blue DMAT account with the link in the description. Thank you for watching this video.